of the crowd can only mean one thing, really. Race day has arrived here in Abu Dhabi, and it's time to join our teams who are getting ready down on the grid. The Yas Marina circuit is made up of 3.28 miles of track, featuring 16 corners with two very long straights. DRS zones going into the heavy braking zones of both Turn 5 and Turn 7 offer plenty of potential for overtaking. The circuit comes with its fair share of tricky corners, which will certainly test a driver's braking management. So with the race not far away from starting, here's what today's grid rundown looks like. World champion Max Verstappen starts from pole position, edging out Lando Norris, who'll start from P2. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Perez, Hamilton, Leclerc, Fernando Alonso, Stroll, Russell, Sainz, Oscar Piastri, Magnussen, Hulkenberg, Sargent, Ocon, Gasly, Albon, Sonoda, Bottas, Ricardo, and Joe Guan Yu. It's almost time for the lights to go out, so let's head down to the track where preparations are underway. Anthony Davidson joins me once again in the commentary box, and it's fantastic to have you with us here, but I'm curious, as a man with experience out on the track, how do you stop those pre-race nerves from becoming overwhelming when you're lining up on the grid? Well, I imagine they'll be starting to feel the adrenaline as they anticipate the rundown into Turn 1, a bit like preparing to go into battle. The unknown situation will bring nerves, but that's a good thing. It will keep them focused on the moment and on their surroundings as we build towards the start of the Grand Prix. OK, here we go. I know what you can do. Don't let me down.
OK, pick up rubber and bring it home. It was a magnificent race and a drive right out of the top draw to take the win for Red Bull today. Anthony Davidson, how do you think they were able to set themselves apart today? I really feel the track layout combined with the track temperatures we saw today suited their car. These cars come alive when the tyres are just at the right temperature and the driver did a great job managing that as well. They just look so comfortable out there. It's like anything, it always looks so easy when it all just clicks. Here come today's winners. The team at Red Bull have done a phenomenal job recently and it's clear to see that they've put in the work and they should be so proud of the victory they've secured here. Well, after an incredible day of racing, who was your driver of the day, Ant? Often my go-to would be a driver who's managed to pull off an especially impressive feat during the race. However, in this instance, I was more impressed by Max Verstappen's solid, clean driving throughout the event. Well, what an end to another fantastic weekend of racing. Thanks to everyone who joined us, and we'll see you for the next one.